I haven't done a day in the life video in a while. Today I'm recording a podcast and doing a little work to prepare for another podcast, which I'll tell you about soon. So this uh, recording today is going to be Mile High Fi and my friend Carl, who's my co-host, is going to come over and then we're going to uh, record down here. I have a couple other things to do. So, you know, right now I actually need to send an email, send an email out to my email list. So I usually do that uh, you know, a couple, couple times a week. So today is the day that I need to do that. Usually it's pretty brief and I kind of have a template to make it easier. So I'm, I'll spend a few minutes on that and then I will get the studio ready down here in the basement to make sure it's ready for when Carl gets here in just a little bit. That went pretty good. It just took me a few minutes to get the email written. So Carl sent me an outline. I'm gonna take a quick look at it. Today is just he and I, so it doesn't need to be quite as formal or quite uh, as prepared. So I did make some notes uh, as well. So I'll just make sure that uh, everything fits together. I'll print out a couple sheets for us. And I do have to uh, you know, do a couple things. I need to make sure our, our lighting and, and stuff is all set up here. Usually it just takes me a couple minutes or so. And then make sure we both have uh, water to drink and pretty straightforward. And then we just hit record. So Carl finally arrived. He was actually, you're early today. I know for once in my life, dog, I think I've been out of our 100 engagements i've been late to like 98 of them i was kind of on time for one and i'm ahead of time today so. yeah this is awesome and we have a big day we're gonna record an episode and then are we still good to watch a movie today um i'm not sure about that i might not be able to this afternoon we had a date set up and now i know. have to watch it alone i know it's been a bad week um not a bad week just a very Busy week. I overcommit myself, which we'll talk about later today. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my coffee and I printed out our stuff. So we're ready to go down there. I'm going to hit the bathroom. You know, you always got to yep. tinkle beforehand. So, all right. I, I will say, Doug, that is yeah. a beautiful thing you have on. Uh, I know we just discussed your Melanzano, which I learned is eggplant for, or no, Italian for eggplant. Yep. And uh, that looks pretty warm. You kind of look like a Clifford the Big Red Doug. It's... We just finished recording. How'd the episode go for you? It was pretty good. We ate some asparagus for the first time, like actually on the episode. I, it's probably a bad idea because that's definitely going to come through the microphone, but we're, we're not polished, so that's what people should expect. And we set a timer, so let me know when you pee and you smell it. I mean, that is... Uh, something we're really curious about. I actually have to go pee right now. I prefer if you did let's go. Me yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I guess if you want to, just give me from the back. <laughs> Do you have anything to report? Nothing. It was setless, which I'm kind of surprised. How many minutes have, ele have, have elapsed since we... Right. It was probably like 20 minutes. Yeah, like I've that. noticed it after less than that. It might have been, it was a real small quantity and maybe the cooking has some kind of effect on the asparagus. But yeah, I'm sorry, Doug. I'll report back to you later this afternoon if... Uh, it texts me right away. Something. Yeah, <laughs> if we watch the movie tonight, maybe we'll have another, we'll have a contest. Elizabeth can be like a blind <laughs> judge, like we'll both pee, we'll have to drink a lot, so we'll both eat asparagus, we'll stop, and then we'll pee every 10 minutes and Elizabeth will... It'll just be samples A and B. Yeah. And she can go in there and see who wins. Yeah. Do you win by getting it, the pee smell sooner or later? Um, I don't know. But Elizabeth definitely loses in this kind of contest. <laughs> yeah. She's the loser. There's one loser for sure. Most days I fast. Not every single day, but most days if I'm doing some work, I will fast until around lunchtime. It's about 11.45 now. I'm not too strict, so I'll probably eat here in a few minutes. And uh, I'll finish up my coffee too. There's a little bit of coffee left and I try not to have caffeine after about noon, 
or one or so. And I will finish it off. Uh, it kind of impacts my sleep if I drink caffeine too late. So I have a little snack, I think. My schedule changed just a little bit today. So I thought Carl was gonna hang out here for a little bit longer and we're gonna watch a movie together. We're gonna watch Fight Club <laughs> for some research. We're gonna watch Fight Club for some research, but Carl had to go. He had to do something else. So I think we're gonna watch it later on today. He's gonna come over this evening, probably have some food. I have some free time in the afternoon. So I'm gonna have a very light lunch and maybe you would just have a protein bar and then I'm gonna hit the gym. I wanna go work out and do some cardio and stuff like that. Very important for me to exercise. I feel much better when I do and it gets me out of the house. You know, the basement is the office area and it's really easy for me just to stay inside, stay in this, uh, you know, the, the home all day long. I finished working out and I was over there for, you know, about a couple of hours and that's kind of typical for me. I've mentioned that I don't necessarily work out very hard or have any specific goals, but I usually get out and get the blood moving. I will tell you, or recently, I've been trying to improve my cardio. So I haven't been able to run as much, which is a wonderful way to improve your cardio, but I have this Achilles problem that's been lingering around and it gets swollen and I'm trying to, you know, take it easy, basically. So there's plenty of other ways to do cardio and I have been working on that and part of it is just putting in you know, a good chunk of time, you know, 45 minutes or an hour at a pretty decent clip. I'm doing like zone two training if people know what that is. So I watch my heart rate and I'm aiming for like uh, 145 to 150 beats per minute or so. Nothing super strenuous, but enough to you know, keep me occupied for a little while. So came back after that, had a quick bite to eat, of course took a quick shower and I can tell you that my energy level is a little bit low this time of day. Many times I, I completely stopped working, but today turned out a little different than I expected and this happens all the time. We have a plan and then things change. I thought that Carl and I were gonna record our, our podcast this morning and then we'd have some lunch and then watch a movie, Fight Club, which we're preparing for an upcoming recording soon. But Carl had to leave and do some other stuff today, but he's going to come back this afternoon and we're going to watch uh, around dinner time. So we're going to have some food, watch Fight Club, probably have a couple beers and take notes then. Should be very fun. So right now it is the afternoon. It's about three o'clock. I have a short call with a friend at four. So I'm kind of waiting around for that. And there's a couple tasks that I could look at today, but they are probably gonna take a bigger chunk of time, so I may not even wanna get started. And this is the perfect time for me to reply back to some emails. So I try not to do, I try not to waste my best energy and like brain power in the morning by answering emails. I try to do something a little bit more productive generally. Instead of doing something productive, decided to play guitar for a few minutes too. Sent a couple emails. I played guitar for a few minutes, which was fun. And I had my quick uh, call with a friend to uh, just sync up on a couple things. So now it's about 4.30 or so. So it's time for me to head upstairs. Carl is going to be back here in a few minutes. He's going to have some dinner over here. I prepared a traditional Filipino dish uh, the other day. It's going to be leftovers, but this is a great one for leftovers. Chicken adobo, it's chicken thighs with some soy sauce and some vinegar and you braise it. it tastes great there's a ton of garlic some black pepper bay leaf very simple recipe very delicious i'm going to make some rice it's going to be fantastic we're going to watch some fight club probably have a beer or two so i'll probably <laughs> 
Thank uh-huh. you. 